Well, people, today begins the long run until holidays. That's right, it's Saturday, fake Monday here on Vlogging Life. I got five more shifts to pull through, and then I'm on vacation for a long time. Well, not really, only like 18 days, but, you know, it's something, probably. But last night, I made some more juices, and I forgot them in my friggin' sauna cleaner. But, uh, they've been in here mixing up. I'm just gonna give them another blast, let them go, and then I'm gonna... Stole them away. I made four bottles last night, 120 mils, just so I'd have some, you know, some spares because I've been going through juice. Not too bad, but you know, bad enough. I gave Adrian his juice. I made him an 18 milligram friggin' blueberry cheesecake to see what he'd think. And I don't know if he tried it yet, so he hasn't talked to me about it, so probably not. He's been on the banana flavoring kick lately, so that's right on. Yeah, and we gotta head off to work soon. Son of a bitch. Well, I better go whack together a lunch. And I get ready, but first I need to take this juice out of here and put it in the closet. You know what's sad? Right there is 120 milliliters, right? One bottle sells for 20 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks. So people think gasoline is expensive. Try vaping. So all these are the same people. That's strawberry or blueberry cheesecake. That's blueberry cheesecake. You can tell which ones have been in here the longest, i.e. this one here. Look at how dark it's gotten. Yup. Need to shake all these up, but these ones here need to steep for a while. So I got five good ones and four on the go, and one that I currently have in my pocket that I'm vaping on today. Frig yeah. She's all like, can I go in that room? And I'm like, no, because you chew the cables. But anyway, we got to get off there, head off to work, put in day one of five. <laughs> Hey, uh, freak sakes. Okay, I think I left my wallet in the car again. Son of a bitch. Got my phone, got my shit. I don't have my smartwatch, but whatever. I don't really feel like wearing it tonight. Mainly because it's hot out. It's hot out. Very, very feckin' hot. So, um, yeah, let me bang together our lunch and we'll hit the road. Yee yeah, boy, shit's all ready to go, so let's get the frig out of here and head off to work. Well, she's not exactly warm out, but she's not exactly cool out. She is for sure damp out. My goodness. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. What a waste of a Saturday. Let's get out of here. People, it's foggy as friggin' the car right now because I'm vaping with the windows up because it's pissing rain out. Just saw Bruce pull in there. Yeah, there he is. So we're ready for an exciting night now. So uh, I'm gonna check in later and uh, go from there. So peace the freak out. Hey guys, what's really going on? So it's eight o'clock now and hasn't been too much going on tonight. Friggin' dead slow, had a couple calls. Mostly the same stuff. People complain the internet's slow. We have a power cycle, shit's fine again. I don't really know what's going on with that, but it is what it is. It doesn't do when the car's turned off. I noticed that if my car is in the accessory position, make sure the radio doesn't turn on, like I can turn my wipers. Okay, now it's doing it completely. Okay, but if I have the car off, I put the wiper up here, nothing, nothing. But full blast, she'll give her. That must be another GM thing. And the thing is, is you can just turn them off at any given point, wherever you want, and they'll just stop there. So you can like totally rock the Frenchman look and park your car, eh? Friggin' rights you can. Just noticed that. I'm not sure what the point of it is. Car does it, so that's cool, I guess. Still got that barbecue to build. Maybe depending on tomorrow what time we get up at, might go out and bang that out. Get that built and transfer the, the propane cylinder off of old red onto new black and uh, see how awesome it is. My brother also got the same grill, but apparently his is stainless steel. For some reason, mom and dad thought I'd prefer black. Sure. I just barbecue. I don't care what color it is. If it could have been pink, I wouldn't have given a shit. Well, maybe I would have given it a little bit of a shit, but you know me. If you guys watch my Grand Theft Auto videos, who's always driving around in the pink car? This guy. Well, that looks kind of cool. Oh, these next four and a half shifts can't go by any faster, let me tell you, people. 
Let me tell you, the boss is like, we want you to learn the new ticketing system, so start playing with it now and get familiarized with it and stuff. And it's like, I don't have it on my computer, you need to install it. Bruce has been trying to install it, he's having a hoor of a time because shit's not working right. So, ZFG mode activate, we'll wait till training. That's my plan. Which sucks because on June 16th, I work from 4 to midnight, that's a Tuesday. And then that Wednesday, which is also my Friday, I gotta come in from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and do training on this track system. One thing I'm not sure of is if I have to work 4 to midnight right after. Because if I do, I'm going to need a break to go home and let Stupid out for a shit. Otherwise, he'll have no problems just dropping coils on the carpet. We already know he'll do that whenever the frig he wants. Little son of a bitch. Like last night, I go downstairs and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a shower. I was really grimy and stuff because it was sweaty and humid in the house. So I was like, I'm going to go have a shower before I go to bed. So I go downstairs and I let Stupid out and I stand outside and I'm hooting on my dart and waiting for him to go. I'm like, go for a poop. And he totally kangarooed up and looked like he was shitting. And then he kicks his paws and comes in the house. And I go in the shower and he's dicking around in the living room, I guess. I don't know. But when I came out of the shower, there was two turds sitting on the fucking carpet. Didn't want to poo outside because it was raining. Prissy little princess dog. Sometimes I swear when they neutered him, they took his cock off and put a vagina there instead. Changed the little arsehole's name from Oreo to Oriella. That does look fucking cool. Sweet. So my plans for my vacation are, number one, knock that stump out of the way. Get that son of a bitch out of the ground and out of there. Will I use the Sawzall? Probably. I found out the power outlet in the shed back there works. It does have three prongs, so it does have the grounding. So I could easily just run my Sawzall out back with the long blade onto her and just chop up some roots. I might do that just to speed up the process. Second thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need to mow my lawn. So I'm going to have to run the push mower at least once in the backyard, maybe twice, depending on how long it takes to get that deck fixed. And then step three is, um, what the hell else do I have to do? Okay, mini bikes are back up in order. Oh, the hydro seed. We need to see if that shit actually works or if it's bunk. So that's going to happen as well. Dad didn't seem too hot on the uh, whole hydro seed. He just kind of looked at it and went, yeah, I've seen that before. And I'm like, well, what do you think of it? He's like, eh. I'm like, oh. He's like, yeah, he's better off just to throw seed down on the ground. And I was like, oh, okay, well. Ah, we'll see. Because if it does work, maybe then uh, he'll be interested. And if it doesn't work, then he'll be like, I fucking told you so. Fucking told you so. I can already see it now. Freak sakes. So I'm super stoked for this shift to be over with, just to know I have four left, and then I'm on super vacation. Like I said, I won't be traveling south. I got a lot of shit around the house to keep me busy, and a lot of things to do. Nobody to wash the dog. And the cat's kind of a spaz, so... I won't be going nowhere. That doesn't bother me much though because the less traveling I do, the less money I spend, the more money I can put towards bills, and the sooner I can have shit paid off even harder, and that'd be nice. Besides, if I were, were to go down for May 2 for a weekend, Pug's not having his shit at his house on the 24th. He's uh, doing, now it's June 6th and 7th for his getting out of the full screen contract, whatever. But yeah, and I will be back to work then, so I definitely won't be going down for that. That's a given. I don't know when I'll be going down there. I might not be able to make a trip this year. It could just very well be that this might be the one year I don't make it down to London. People always say, talk positively, Adam, about your freaking college experience. Talk positively. Tell people to go to college. Tell people to go to college. It's like, fuck, I went to college to get uh, a degree so I can be more friggin' available to this type of work. And there's no friggin' work around here for that kind of shit. It's like our colleges are a big joke. They just train people to leave the, uh, they leave the north, head down south, because there's no freaking jobs up north. Come on, Canadian government, get your shit together. Let's go. Let's get some jobs up north here. Frig sakes, I know you hate us and stuff, but you could have a little love, maybe, you sons of bitches. So I'm trying to cut down on the F-bombs on the video, but some days it's friggin' hard, you know. Some days I just get pushed over the edge. However, I'm on this new shit, and it's pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy, even after reading comments. Like, one guy left a pretty nasty comment on my video, and I was like, I replied back, and I said, wow, you're real kind, bud, you know, like, stay positive and shit and it was like before if i would have not been on this stuff and i read that i probably would have lost my shit banned the goof and then friggin went nuts and swore up and down on the vlog but you know what the way i see it now is people are rude people are ignorant people are stupid and their way of lashing out is to be rude ignorant and stupid in comments so let them be. I also didn't notice that in my group of friends, people were like, how come Pug's channel isn't in there? How come Pug's channel isn't in there? 
I didn't realize Pug's channel wasn't in there. I knew Pug's old lady was in there because I added her in there because of the cooking video. I mentioned her. I said, ah, frig, I better put her in there so that people can find her channel that much easier. But I never noticed Pug's wasn't in there. I ended up adding it, so it's, it's in there now. If you go look, you'll see it, as well as all my other friends. You guys should subscribe to Tasty Glue because he makes funny videos. I'm in them sometimes. I had no idea, and everybody right away, they just jumped the conclusion that Pug and I are in a fight. What do we have to fight about? We aren't fighting. We don't text every day. We're not BFFs. We don't do each other's hair and shit. Probably because he lives in Inwood and I live in North Bay and it's not exactly down the road if you know what I'm saying. I never took him out of there. He wasn't in there in the first place. For what reason, I have no idea. But it's not like my little piddly ass channel is going to really boost his subs up. Not a big deal. Like, holy, people just like to start shit, I guess. Guess that's what happens when your life is even more boring than mine, eh? You gotta start drama on the internet so you can have something to watch at the end of the night. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this shift. Eat my lunch and, uh, listen to Bruce sleep, I guess. Because it's pretty loud when he sleeps. It totally sounds like a train's derailing. It's brutal. It's friggin', I won't lie, it's friggin' brutal. That boy snores and the foundation starts cracking. True story. Didn't make that one up. I'll have to show you the cracks. Anyway, talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Alrighty, people, it's friggin' midnight. Time to get out of here and go home. Oh, yeah. One down, four to go. Love that kind. Let's get out of here. Oh, do you wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside? Oh, yes, you have your dudes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You're gonna get stepped on again. Jesus. Friggin' dog's nuts. Right now, Scampers gets all worried because we're both out here and she's in there and she's like, hey, wait a second. So that's one down, people. Four more to go. Let's power through them, eh? Let's just burn through these things. Frig yeah. So here's hoping tomorrow's as easy as it was today. Monday the same, Tuesday the same, and Wednesday the same. And all life will be good. I just need to get him to go for a shit. I think that's what he's doing right now. He's just looking for the optimal position to kangaroo up and lob off his turds. Lovely. She is really curious as to what we're doing out here. She feels all alone. She feels upset. She's probably going to cry or just meow a lot. One of the two. It's what she does. I'll put some bottom lip into it, bud. Really knuckle onto her. Jesus. It's totally crapping. Well, that was just lovely. I'm going to take the leash off of Oreo and he belches right in my face. Beauty. But anyway, people, that's going to be all for day one. So without further ado, let's move on to day number two. Oh, how's it going today, guys? Welcome to day two of five. Holy shit. So I'm just starting off with a little brekkie right now. Got myself some eggs under here. They're slowly becoming eggs and Got some toast into this guy and it's slowly becoming toast, so that's awesome. As you can tell, it's another miserable day outside of rain and no sun, but that's fine. Keep doing that all week until about Thursday. Yeah, just keep doing that all week till about Thursday, bud. It's awesome. I, I don't even, don't even care. You know what? I gotta work, so let it be miserable out. No big deal. This Thursday, I'm probably gonna push the mower around the backyard. We'll get that lawn all straightened out. And we'll start working on that stump some more. I'm going to use the saws all this time instead of the axe because, well, it'll just go quicker. We can probably bang her out on Thursday and be done with that stupid thing finally, eh? The stump saga will be over. It'll be awesome. Little shit totally showing off. Yeah, if I could do that, I wouldn't leave the home. So, as you probably guessed, it's Sunday here. It's also Mother's Day and it's also my dad's birthday. So, happy birthday, Dad. Happy Mommy's Day, Mommy. Yeah. Look at her just giving me that look. Her little kitten face. Her little kitten face. Scampers! Look at me. Scampers! Why won't you look at me? Where, where, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I pissed her off. She's not a big fan of the camera, which is why there'll never be a Scampers rants. Like how I used to have Felix rants. There'll never be a Scampers rants. She doesn't like the camera. She really doesn't. But she does, however, like to sit in the window and stare at all the things outside she'd like to put in her face. What do you see out there? What's out there? Looking at the bushes? What are you looking at? What are you even looking at? Is there a birdie out there? Do you want to eat the birdie? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Anyway, people, my brekkie is ready. I'm gonna go drive this in my face. And I don't know what else we're gonna do before we head off to work, but I definitely need to put some food in my mouth. So do you guys remember back in the day when I was a huge time camera collector and I ended up buying like every camera on the market because I was addicted? Well, one of the cameras I bought was the Kodak ZE2 and it was a waterproof camera from Kodak about the size of a credit card 
and I ended up returning it because the stupid thing had a microphone whine on it that sounded like a, a supercharger, but non-stop. Basically, it's one of these guys. Oh, dick. There we go. So the microphone's right there off to the side of the lens. Holy shaky, the camera guy is iOS not turned on, that's why. So there it is right there, you know. It wasn't a bad camera. It took pretty good video and shit and being waterproof and all that. It's the Playful series, the ZE2. I have the ZE1 still. But the ZE2, what was nice about it was, you know, it was it was tiny. It fit in your pocket, waterproof, didn't have to worry about it getting wet and stuff. I bought it from Staples, filmed one vlog with it, got nothing but, like, dislikes and hate comments about it. Ended up bringing it back to Staples. Cost me 50 bucks, so I got my 50 bucks back. And then I came across on Kijiji, here's a guy selling one. Now, originally he was selling it for 10 bucks, and I was like, well, frig 10 bucks for a suicide cam, that's not too bad. I'll, I'll pay that. So I contacted the guy and asked him if he still has it, and he's like, I do have it, but I'm upping the price to $20 because of all the demand. This was about a month ago. The camera's still on the market. Obviously, 20 bucks for those, it's too much money. Alrighty, well, I've been dicking around here for long enough. I need to go and friggin' get a lunch together for work and then go to work and. Hey, boss, we pet the sleepy kitten. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty when she's sleepy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Into kitten. Oh, you're so tired, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, oh, you the boo boos. And then there's Oreo, the fluffy poppy whoppy, who bounces around and away. Stop! No. See, he, he was gonna jump. Want go outside? Okay, gotta calm down. Yeah, you can't calm down. You're too excited all the friggin' time. You know, I may have to try that Listerine friggin' water thing to get the dead skin off your feet. Because honestly, like, my feet are always so itchy because of the dead skin. I remember when we were in the Dominican, I did that thing where you put your feet in the aquariums of water and the fish eat all the dead skin off of them. I gave six of those sons of bitches diabetes. Friggin' sitting there trying to bang my lunch together, had him outside, but he's barking his furry little tits off. He just, he just can't go outside and go potty. He's got to bark his furry little tits off all the time, eh? All the freaking time. And jump around like an idiot, too. Why are you a bad dog? Hey, you're a bad dog. Yeah, you're a bad dog. Roll over. I said roll. 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 Ah, close enough. Alrighty, well. It's friggin', uh... Oh. Time to head off to work, so we'll fire up the car. And uh, get the hell out of here. Let's go bang out day two of five. Freak sakes. My mom was asking me there, why the hell did you take vacation in May knowing you're gonna get laid off soon? And like, that's the problem is, I don't know when I'm gonna get laid off. It could be in a month, it could be in two years. They aren't telling us nothing. All they told me was when I, when I talked to the HR dick from Bell, about it saying, you know, why'd you guys screw me out of two jobs? You said if you had another job lined up, let me know and we will try and get you out of here so you can go on to your new job that is hopefully a lot more stable. And both times I tried, well, the first time, the uh, union dicks were saying they never got the memo, they never got my letter or my email, which I showed them I sent the fucker. Like, it totally shows that it went to them. They just ignored it for whatever reason and then gave three other people the ability to leave and all three of the people who left aren't even worth One guy retired and the other two, one guy's taken an online course which he probably already failed and uh, the third person's just stay at home mommy so it's like holy fuck these three people don't even have jobs lined up they just don't want to work that's it end of story they don't want to work there anymore Meanwhile, I had two opportunities to stay in North Bay and I lost them because of friggin' union nonsense and HR nonsense. When I was talking to the HR dick about it, they said, well, we don't think we can let anybody go for probably another two years. Like, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's not, like, on, apparently our network and Bell's network aren't making out well. And they're having some compatibility issues and they don't want to start changing the shifts and modifying the products and all that until they get you know, a good flowing system working. So I told, that's what I told mom, I said, I could be working there for another two years, so I'm just gonna, you know, treat it like business as usual. Is it right that a company can tell you that they're letting you go but not tell you when? Hell no, it ain't right. You know, cause like something you guys don't know about me is I'm a very strategic kind of guy. When shit hits the fan, I start brainstorming like a son of a bitch trying to find a solution to solve the problem. Most of the time I can do it on my own. Sometimes I gotta call in the heavies, but most of the times I can do it on my own. And, you know, since I found out that I was gonna be leaving the company, 
I've been working my balls off trying to find an exit plan that's going to lead me to actually be able to stay in town. But, seeing how every time I find an exit plan and I contact the powers that be and notify them of it, they always end up dicking me over. I gave up on the job hunts. I gave up on it all. And then some of you guys out there were like, oh, why don't you just quit and go to the other job? Well, number one, I'm not an idiot. That's why I wouldn't do that because there's a huge chunk of change, enough to pay off my house, all my debt, all that shit. Like I could become debt free big times once they sever me. And if I get another job, well, shit, you know? Easy peasy living, boys. But the same people saying that are probably hoping I'll fall flat on my face and fail big times, and are probably the ones that like, you know, like to call the cops on me to show up at three in the morning and stuff, you know? So, you know, they're jealous, so they gotta try and make my life, and they just wanna see me fail. Oh, look, the Kojiko van's on one of those Fords. Did you look at that? Huh. I was about to show you, but then this Longhorn Hemi just pulls up beside me and takes over the shot. Just continue working, paying off stuff slowly, and when they do let me off, I'll have even even more money to throw into uh, my bill paying, and I'll have even less owing on the bills, so I'll have even more money left over for myself to do something nice for myself, like either buy a new car or, you know, consider selling the whole real estate option and moving. You know, like the options will be there unless I can find another job in town. Because I really don't want to work for like friggin' Walmart pushing shopping carts at my age for freak's sakes or working at like McDonald's flipping burgers. Like, come on. Like, that's ridiculous. That's the problem with this town is there's no good jobs. And then people are like, well, start up your business. Do you know how many computer repair businesses there are in this town right now? It's ridiculous. It's oversaturated. If I lived up north, I'd totally do it. Like, if I really hated my life and I wanted to capitalize in a business venture, I'd move to Moose and and open up a computer store. Like a computer repair service. I'd make a killing up there. But unfortunately, I don't hate my life that much and Moose and sucks, so I would never move there. But, just saying, like up north, there's not much. But in North Bay, you know, we got like core for apples. And then we got, uh, like, they're the certified, Apple certified, you know, the Apple tells them to do all the work. Then you have a lot of un-Apple certified Apple people here in town, like North Bay Computer Services, the Computer Doctor, Computer Gurus, Nerds on Site, Nerds on Wheels, uh, Future Shop, or Best Buy's Geek Squad. Sorry, it's not Future Shop North Best Buy, but they got their Geek Squad. You know, we got all these different computer dicks in town that fix shit. That if I were to start up another business on a saturated market, it would fall flat on its face. It wouldn't even be worth it. A lot of you are like, well, why don't you open up a dart store? Well, with all this new legislation coming out about e-darts, like they've already banned flavored tobacco. They don't have like uh, menthols anymore or like the flavored sagrets, all that shit's gone. Now it's just like cigarette flavored sagrets. Never ceases to amaze me that on, on a day like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, whatever, those people are at the corner of the busy streets trying to parlay their rotten flowers. It's freaking crazy how bad employment is in this town and like to start up a business would be just horrible. Unless it's something that you can do that nobody else is doing that's a service that's needed, then forget it. Like, that's why I wish I was in the same boat as like the bigger YouTuber. They make enough off of this type of a thing to to live, then I wouldn't really worry about what kind of job I got. I wouldn't worry really worry about the hours I work about getting a job to support my lifestyle because I could just do YouTubes, you know? But that's a pipe dream that'll probably never happen. You never know, but as far as I'm concerned, it'll never happen. Every time I seem to pull ahead, YouTube makes a change and it puts me right back down again, so. What can I say? What can I say? It is what it freaking is. So that's my plan. Just wait it out and work it out and get done with this shit and carry on with life. With current shifts I'm working, if I can't go down to London until I'm actually off work, then so be it. It's gonna be a shitty time, but um, what can I say? It is what it is, right? Like can't go down and see my friends, I can't go down and see my friends. 
no use spilling milk over it or whatever. You know, I always know what's going on over at Pugs. I watch the videos. Bloke doesn't really make many updates anymore because there's nothing to really YouTube. He's doing his own thing and well, the last time he uploaded a video was about his juice company and a lot of people seemed okay with it, but there was a couple goofs that kind of upset him because they're like, oh, just shut, it, shut, shut down shop. You're wasting your time, shut down shop. And it's like, no, he's not wasting his time. He's doing something he loves and he's actually making money off of it. Why don't you go fuck yourself? But that's the problem with YouTube though, is uh, the anonymity. Everybody can be a dick and nobody can do anything about it except for sit there and watch them be dicks. Unfortunately, it's the way of the YouTube, and there's not much any of us can do about it, except for just ignore them or ban them when they get too out of line. Kick them off the channel. I know that hurts them. When you ban them off the channel, it bothers them. That one guy threatened to click bomb me over that. Fucking laughed my tits numb. I was like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna click bomb me because I banned you? Oh, bud, by all means, go ahead. It doesn't work that way anymore. By all means, go right ahead, like, click bomb away. And if you do magically make my AdSense disappear, well, oh well, just means now I really have no reason to put any effort into these vlogs because there's no goal to shoot for, you know? And the goal was one day to turn this into a business. Not become all Hollywood as fuck and try and make movies and shit, but basically to turn YouTube into an entertainment business and Try and be like fucking I Justine or some shit. We both got the same fucking size chest. We should be able to pull it off. But uh yeah. Welcome to the workplace. Bruce is already here. Other co-workers are already here. Fuck are you, Bruce! See Bruce is still here. Still hasn't made a video though. Fucking lazy prick. Oh and he flips us off. What a nice guy. Anyway, I should head inside and get this shift over with. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's 8 o'clock lunchtime and it's been a slow as frig work night. We only got one call and sure enough it was when Bruce was on lunch and I had to go to the washroom. And it wasn't even for a crap, it was just for a piss. Like I was gone for like maybe two minutes. Somebody called in, couldn't wait for us, left a voicemail. Like, okay, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out, GG, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm not prime, Bruce is prime so he's got to deal with that. <laughs> that has been a pretty slow as frig night. Just been watching some YouTubes and... <sighs> bored out of my tits just bored out of my tits but whatever anxious to get over these next three shifts after this one here and get on with business of being on holidays yeah boy it's gonna be glorious gonna be freaking glorious i can't freaking wait so i got a, a call from dad tonight eh and he's all like uh hey i'm at uh I'm at future shop I'm like, Best Buy, he goes, still Future Shop, they haven't changed the name yet. I'm like, whatever dad, what's going on? And he's like, I want to buy a new radio for my upstairs. I'm like, for what do you mean? He's like, for above the fridge, for when we're eating supper, we want to listen to the radio. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, then fuck, buy one. And he goes, well, I just want to know here, this radio that I'm looking at has Bluetooth. Uh, do, you, do, do you think I need that? And I'm like, well, what do you plan on doing? Like, well, what does that do exactly? And I'm like, well, you can hook your phone up to it and stream music right off your phone to the radio. Oh, that sounds like something I wouldn't do. But I could do that, though. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, we got the speaker at work that's the same. Start talking back and forth. And he's like, well, Walmart has a radio. It's 60 bucks. It doesn't have Bluetooth. And it doesn't sound as good as this one here with Bluetooth. So you think I should get the one Bluetooth? I'm like, how much are these? Like, both 60 bucks. I'm like, get the better one. Like, is this really a reason to call me? Like, honestly, if one radio sounds better than the other, get the radio that sounds awesome. And he's like, yeah. And he goes, uh... You ever heard of and he mentioned some brand name and it was like t t dot or something like that and i've never heard of that brand for television and i'm like why and he goes well they got a 17 uh, 70 inch 70 inch lcd display and uh, uh over here for sale and i want to pick it up and i'm like where are you gonna put it like you got your friggin 55 inch or your 50 inch downstairs and you got your um your 42 inch plasma upstairs like all the plasma is dying he said the color on it's getting all discolored it's garbage so we're gonna put the 50 inch upstairs and put the 70 inch downstairs and i'm like oh my goodness just he comes over the other day drops off the barbecue that i showed you so those are about 200 bucks a pop he bought me and my brother each a barbecue, so that's 400 bucks. So now he's throwing $1,700 down on a, or $1,800 down on a television, and another 100 bucks down on a radio. <laughs> like, holy. It must be nice to have a job where you can work all the overtime you want and just make serious fucking paychecks. I kind of need a job like that, because you know what? If I could work four hours extra a day and bank 32 hours a week overtime, or a paycheck overtime, I shouldn't say a week, but 
over an 80 hour period. If I could work 12 hours a day for five days a week and bank 32 hours OT on top of 40 or 80 hours a week, I'd be happier than a pig and shit. Meanwhile, I have no idea how the hell he's getting overtime because like, for sakes, I read in the news that exploration and mining is kind of at a, at a standstill right now. I know Bort Lanier laid off a whole slew load of people and I, I heard that at his work they were doing the same, but I guess they're finding a lot of work and they need more people and shit. So I don't know. Maybe the news just sucks. It is what it is. Anyway, people, thought I'd share that little story with you about dad. So he's getting a new TV. It's 42 inches basically shot. So probably just going to bring that to the recycling center down on uh, Sheriff there. Sheriff? No. Anyway, he's going to bring it to the t the electronic recycling center. Same place Adrian and I went when we uh, went and did that dump run. Before we went there, we went to the, they went to the other place, dropped some shit off that you can't throw in the dump, like, you know, car battery. Well, you don't really car throw car batteries, and you bring those to the, the scrap center, you get like 10 bucks for them. But like old paints and chemicals and things that you shouldn't throw in the dump, the hazardous waste depot, that's what it's called, takes that crap and either they repurpose it. Like you can go there right now and get like three cans of white paint, all mismatched, mix them all into one can, stir them up, blend them together, and boom, you got this off shade white. Heaven forbid you ever have to touch up a part of your house again after you paint because you're not going to get that color again unless you break a chip off, bring it in, get a color matched, but that never works out right. But like you can go there and get paint. And one thing they don't let you do is rummage through the electronics that people sh uh, drop off to grab because uh, they don't like doing that and they end up reselling it or probably doing the gold stripping on it i don't know yeah it'd be a shame it'd be pretty neat if they would actually let people go in there and grab computers and fix them like basically let people like me fix computers and not sell them but donate them to schools let me go rummage through all your electronics see how many computers i can piece together that function then donate them to schools or donate them to third world countries that don't have computers or something like that maybe that's what they do with them i don't know it would be a good idea though you know what's garbage for us might be freaking awesome for somebody else just saying. But anyway, I'm gonna head her back inside. Thought I'd come outside, shoot a quick little vlog for you. Got nothing really much to talk about other than this, so uh, frig yeah, it is what it is. It's a rainy bitch of a day too. Son of a bitch. Oh hey there people, it's friggin' midnight here on Vlogging Life now. Woot! Two down, three to go. Let's go home. Alright people, we are home. Yeah boy! So that's two down, three more to go. Power through it, get to that friggin' weekend, fake weekend, so we can get to our awesome holidays, 18 days off. J uh, what are we to this month? We're May. So May the 14th until May 31st. Okay, mate, wait, that's not right. That's 17 days off. I apologize. 17 days off, still freaking awesome. We got a lot of work to do in that time. Apparently that barbecue is easy to build. My brother already did it. He said there's not much to it, so that'll be great. Thinking Thursday, we're gonna go pick up like a big steak, something gruesome, you know, because we're gonna have the deck to cook it on. Freaking right, we will. And let's get that barbecue banged out then. But I'm shutting her down for this for this day, so stick around for tomorrow. The jaundice. What another dreary day out today, people. Yup. Oh, it looks a little better when the white balance kicks in. Still cloudy and frig, I'm probably gonna piss today. Not too worried, not too worried. Cause today is day three of five. And uh, yeah, I just got back from the doctors there. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I had to go to the doctors for my physical, my checkup. My fucker wanted some, oh, he wanted a urine sample, a semen sample, a stool sample, and a blood sample. So I just took off my underwear and handed them to him. Hey, Hoozle, what's going on now? I'm gonna, once again, make myself an egg. Holy shit, no, it's harder. <laughs> Wow, I guess my yawn was too hard because she's like contemplating leaving the house. He's just too stupid to care. Down. Well, you're learning. You want to know how I can tell this is my dog? I'm sitting here cooking my eggs and he's shitting himself like just farting away. I don't know why he's got the farts, but he's totally got the farts and he's just farting away. And like I'm up here and I'm, I'm working away. I'm cracking the eggs and getting shit right now. Here's... And I look down at him. He just looks up at me and starts wagging his tail. Down. He starts wagging his tail and I look <laughs> all happy like with that st same stupid face on. Just farting away like, my goodness. My puppy and me, same. Doing this like this three days in a row, it's starting to feel like Groundhog Day. Just thought I'd point that out because we're having bacon, or not bacon, just eggs and toast again. Should get some bacon to go with my breakfast. I'd probably be fucking good. 
Just waiting on the coffee. He just farted again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why is my puppy so farty? What did he get into? Oh, are you getting into the garbage? Is that what it is? Did you get into something in the garbage? I think that's what it was, is they got into... Because I, I cut up those celeries and carrots and all that shit yesterday for my lunch. I, and I threw away the bum end of the carrot, like the bottom. And I think it's not in there anymore, so I'm pretty sure Oreo got it out and ate the whole fucking thing. And it's probably giving him the farties. Oh, freak sakes, just chatting with Slim there on Facebook and had my coffee and realized, you know what? I didn't have a coffee yesterday, and I'm going to have two today. That's right, I want two coffees today, freak sakes. It's a time like this when I should have just made a pot, but meh. Whatevs. So, go ahead and crank off another coffee. And um, we'll go for more. Oh yeah, so I think on Thursday the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that uh, pull that garden hose out of the, uh, you can sort of see it out there if I zoom in maybe, and back out. You can see the garden hose out there. We're gonna pull that back up to the house. We're gonna push mow the lawn, for sakes. Then we're gonna probably carry on with the stump. I wanna get in there with a trowel and dig out a bunch and then grab my, uh, you know, as long as it's not raining out. If it's raining then fuck that, we won't bother doing anything outside there. We'll go in the garage and dick around with the mower deck some more. But if it's a nice day for Thursday, I'm thinking that. Unless Adrian sidetracks me with friggin' let's go mini biking, then we're going to go mini biking. But I definitely want to start cranking on that. This stump will be out before June. I guarantee it's got to go. And that's my mission progress. Like, that's my mission report for my time off is to get rid of that son of a whore. Because she's got to go. Like, come on. This has been like three years in the making. It's got to go. So we'll bang that out. Uh, over the holidays, that's for sure. The sooner the better. I also got to get that mower deck situated. I might talk to Arnstein's or the uh, mower repair shop up on the hill and see if they can get those spindles. See how much those are going to cost me and go from there and other things. Mind you, if it costs too much to replace the spindles, I might just say fuck it, turn the Dynamark into another romper, scrap the deck, and get myself like a, a self-propelled mower because self propel would be way nicer than pushing that little six and a half horse around for frig's sakes. Any hoozle people. It's friggin' time to get out of here. Come on, and get off to work. I just need to grab another bottle of juice from my El Darte. Uh, we'll go with this really friggin' dark one that's probably been up there since I started making the batch. Yeah, this really oversteeped one. Can't really oversteep. The longer you leave it, the better the juice tastes. That's a given. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna frig off to work. Look at these two arseholes. Well, Oreo was sitting fine until I turned the camera on him, but she's in race car cat mode. You can see the rear fairings. Any hoozle, I'm gonna fly off to work and get this shift over with. Then there's only two left to go. Frig yeah! So you probably noticed today I didn't pack a lunch and it's because I frigged up huge. Uh, last night I got home wanted something like a snack so I toasted up some toast and put some honey on to it that's friggin delicious by the way well for me it's delicious you guys if you don't like honey then you won't like that kind but um, yeah I toasted her up and made some uh, honey toast put a little dash of cinnamon onto it if you want but I don't bother with that anyway uh, forgot to take out a loaf of bread stupid me so I woke up this morning took the loaf of bread out frozen as fuck toasts fine when it's frozen like the toaster can easily deal with it but you know you don't want to microwave them and heat them up that way because then they get all soggy and shitty you just want them to naturally defrost at their own pace so basically because I screwed up I didn't pack a lunch today but that's all right we're gonna go to Subway we're gonna get a sandwich there not a big deal but yeah, I was chatting with Slim there, and he's all upset that I can't make it down in May. Well, next week or the week after, the week after that. Like I explained to him, I said, listen, bud, like, if I can pay off all the debt owing while I'm working, when I do get laid off, that's a lot more money in my pocket that I don't have to dish out to bills. And that would be glorious because the less money I have to give to bill people and keep in my pocket, the better life will be for me. And then at that time, you know, once I'm laid off, going down to London, like I can bug the parents, be like, hey, can you take the dog for a couple days? And then just go, like I don't have work restraining me, you know? I can just go down. And I was chatting with Bruce about the whole renting property, because you know, if I do decide to move to like London, then will I want to keep my house or sell it? 
And then look at all the problems that Pug's going through with this new tenant he has. Apparently the guy's like friggin' flooding the basement, not following orders. Like, Pug knows, he's lived in the house. He knows that you gotta like shovel around the fucking thing. Because if you let snow build up against it, come spring and it melts, it finds the water finds its way into the house and floods the basement. He knows this. He's lived there. He's dealt with the problems. Just like me living at my house. There's quirks in my house. And I've dealt with them, you know? But then you get a tenant in there who doesn't know these things. And they're fucking around. And next thing you know, your house is upside down, destroyed because they left something wrong or they did something wrong or like originally when I bought my house the rule was in the winter you had to turn off the kitchen sink you weren't allowed to have any water flow into the kitchen sink because those pipes froze in the winter well that wasn't acceptable holy fuck dodge I'm trying to get I'm trying to get by you so I can get in your lane don't fucking race me right now you cock sucker fucking doing 70 and a 50 zone because the stupid dodge ram wouldn't stop but um <laughs> Yeah, like I know the quirks of my house, he knows the quirks of his house, but you know, when you rent it out, you can tell the the, uh, the tenants the, the, your, your quirks, like listen, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, because if you do this, this is going to happen. So I need you guys to take care of this, or you deal with it yourself. Well, if I'm living in London, I can't really deal with the local property here in North Bay. It's a five hour drive. And I don't think my dad wants to be the dick who gets called at 3 a.m. when the assholes flood the, uh, the crawl space because they fucked up. So I think it'd be easier just to sell the property and have no stress, personally. You know, there's a lot of money in income properties. Like if I have the house paid down enough, remortgage it, I could lower my payments down even more or just leave them where they are and it's piss. If I were to rent the house out for like $1,100, $1,200 a month, go from there, because that's the going price for houses here in North Bay, it's pathetic. But I could easily rent it out, include the garage and everything, the whole kit and caboodle, the yard, the garage, everything's yours, 1200 bucks a month, and then um, go from there, you know? But, you know, you get some tenants in there, like for instance, the one that Pug has, who are complete belligerent idiots, and just wreck your shit all the fucking time. And who has to pay for that? You do, because it's your property. Then trying to evict them. Oh my goodness. That Tenant Protection Act, she's a strong one, boys. She'll protect you. If you're a renter, you're protected, you can be an asshole. As long as you're paying your rent, there's fuck all they can do. They can't kick you out or anything. The only way they can kick you out is if A, you plan on moving back into the property, or B, you plan on selling the property. And if it was B, the way it works is you gotta give them 60 days notice to vacate the property and find a new place to live because you are selling it. And you have to have like proof that a realtor was there examining it and the, the thing has to be up on the the front porch, the uh, for sale sign, you know, on your front lawn. Can't just say, yeah, I'm thinking about, about uh, I'll say a Dodge Caravan for fuck's sakes. Volkswagen makes a Dodge Caravan. Anyway, um, but yeah, like you can't just say, well, I'm selling the house and that's it. That's all she wrote. No, you actually have to follow through in order to uh, to, to actually get it. Like it's, it's, it's dicked. Now, some people say, well, make sure to rent it to a nice family. Well, I remember my neighbor, or my neighbor's fuck, my, my parents' neighbors, um, the guy was never home, he was a military man. The guy worked more than my dad. And uh, he rented out his house to a family because he ended up getting posted. He's military, right? So every four years he get posted or some shit like that. So he ended up getting posted somewhere, somewhere out east. I think it was in New Brunswick at the military base in Brunswick. So he rented out the house to a nice family. So he thought, well, after his four year tour, he had to choose where to go. He decided to come back to North Bay, evict the family living there and take over the house. The house reeked of piss. Like from what he described it as, the tenants that live there didn't even bother to use the fucking toilet. They just pissed on the floors, pissed on the carpet, pissed on the, the basement. They had like two dogs that probably accumulated to help accumulate the piss. Just completely piss covered the house. Like the house was destroyed. So he had to sit there and clean all the piss out of it. It, it was a mess. Like he was like, that's it. I'm never renting again. People are fucked. And I don't blame him. Like that's my big concern is, okay, I rent my house out to a quote unquote nice family. They come in there and just completely destroy the place and then expect me to repair it because they're belligerent? Like, I, I, I can't. There's no fucking way. Like, when a rental property starts costing you more than you're making off of it, it's time to shut her down, right? So it'd be a lot easier for me just to sell the property 
to like a developer, somebody who's looking to uh, build a duplex and make some income property, just just sell it all off and, and be done with the headache, than to rent it out and create a new headache. And that's what pisses me off about the uh, Tenant Protection Act is there's nothing for the landlord. There's no landlord protection. Like. If they're trashing your property, you can't evict them because they're being assholes and wrecking your shit. As long as they're paying the rent, they can do whatever the hell they want, you know? And it's not right. But anyway, people, I'm going to stop off here at Subway, grab myself a sandwich because I, I fucked up. Just just don't let me in there, fucking Dodge Caravan, you son of a whore. Oh, that's that broad that Julie hates. Yep. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, we're right back. And we are back, and we have sandwiches, and I hope they're good. My sandwiches, I mean just one, but it's cut in two, so it feels like two. Anyway, let's see if we can get the fuck out of here without causing an accident. Oh, this parking lot is dicked. This parking lot, she is dicked. Yeah, like, uh, you know, with the whole bill paying and shit. What the? Okay, if you can't see that person, you're like seriously fucking blind. Oh my goodness. I need to get me a, a jacket like that when I'm friggin' romping. But anyway, uh, <laughs> talking about the whole house thing, like something I like to do, like once I got everything paid down, like if I can pay off, I have two more loans to go. They're both about six grand in. Once I get that paid off, that's 12 grand. I don't have to pay out of my loan. And what I want to do is when I'm laid off is invest about five to 10 grand into the house to completely gut the bathroom and rebuild the bathroom. And do the fix the living room up and all that like clean up the house and make it look a little bit more modern a bit Probably even put some new cabinets in the kitchen. Maybe you know shit like Fuck my tits. There we go um, Shit like that cuz if I can clean up the kitchen Put new cabinets in make it look more modern rather than 1904 and blow away the bathroom completely redo the bathroom drop a new floor in there put up new drywall get rid of all the friggin there's probably mold in there get rid of all that shit put in a new toilet put in a new sink countertop completely clean up the bathroom in the kitchen well that alone will up the value of the house big time because all I really want for the place I'd like to get what the what they told me was 180 that'd be friggin awesome if I can get 180 for the place with the amount that I own it now that's gonna be a nice chunk of change I could easily move to London and get myself like a condo like Bloke has, you know, or just say fuck buying and rent because who knows, maybe I won't enjoy London as much and I'll want to move out of there and move to Toronto or somewhere else, like, you know, rent a place, but then I'd have all this extra cash in my hands that it wouldn't be that big of a deal what I get, so, or who knows, maybe Bloke will let me rent a room at his place, I don't know, like, I don't know. I could pay him, like, money to stay there in a room and we could hang out and make videos all the time and, and work and vape and just fucking have a good time and not have to worry about shit. Is that one of our new fucking vans? That thing's badass. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. thought I had free candy on the side, but instead it says our company name. That's dick. So, yeah, like, that's the reason why I'm, like, really up in arms about renting out the house because people are dicks, man. People are trash or shit not even think about it. There's too many people out there that their thought process baffles me. It's, it's like, to me, it reminds me of an engine, but one of the gears is stripped and it's just grinding, you know? So they just can't quite think about the actions they're doing before they do them. You know, and it's it's like same kind of people who try to hook a sprinkler up to a garden hose and the garden hose is already running and then they bitch because they got wet. Those are the kind of people I'm talking about. It just baffles my mind, man. Baffles my mind that people can't think anymore. I don't know what the hell happened to this planet, but it sure got dumb. We're head inside. It's currently uh, 10, to, 10 to 4. Let's bang out this shift and then we'll head back home and call it a day. Alrighty guys, it's friggin' midnight. That's right, shift's already over. So I'm gonna head her home. If you're wondering why I didn't shoot anything at lunch or why there's a piece of fur on my face, I gotta friggin', I wanna trim all this up and fix it. This is ridiculous, I look like an idiot. But um, yeah, if you're wondering why I didn't film at midnight, it's cause we shot another vape in the head on Adrian's channel. You probably already seen it, so that's probably already gone up. But uh, let's go home, let the dog out, and we're gonna play some Grand Theft Auto tonight. That's the battle plan. Holy crap, I just had a piss shiver. Alrighty, so I'm home now. I just got my mail out of the mailbox. I was gonna grab it before I left, but then I noticed it was all bills. So I said, 
figured I'll grab it on the way home. And I canceled my Canadian Tire Financial Institute credit cards back in October. They're still sending me a bill saying they owe me $3.70. I told them to shut the account down. They're saying I need to spend that money or they're going to keep sending me bills. And if I don't spend the money, they're going to ding me. I, what was it? Let me, let me find that again and see what the hell it says. Yeah, this right here. Your account has a credit balance. The, a fee may be applied if you have a credit balance and your account has been inactive for the previous 12 billing cycles. What the fuck kind of scam is that? Holy crap, my jaundice. Oh, there, it just corrected itself. You love that? But, uh, yeah, so if I don't correct this and spend the $3.70 that's on my account, they're going to add a fee. If the fee is $3.70, I'm not too worried. But if they tag like 50 bucks or 60 bucks onto this thing because I didn't spend the money because I don't have the card anymore, cocksuckers chopped up. Like, oh my goodness, I hate credit cards so much. This is why I canceled the son of a horse. So it looks like tomorrow I'll be giving them a call and being like, listen, just take the money, go to Hortons, buy you and a friend at your office some Hortons, and leave me the fuck alone. Like, it's that simple. But no, apparently it's not, so it is what it is. Wow, she's chilly in the house. I love this, it's gonna be good for sleeping. I uh, turned off the furnace, eh, because why have the furnace running when it's not even below zero out? So the furnace is set to 62 degrees, and the house is currently sitting at 68, so perfect. But on that note, people, I'm gonna shut this part of the vlog down here. Tomorrow, onward to day four. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, hey there, guys. How the frig's it going? I'm going insane. I didn't get any sleep last night. Literally, I was awake. Okay, I went to bed at around 3 in the morning, tossing and turning because I just couldn't fall asleep. Every time I was on just that little brink of falling asleep, something would wake me up. Either the scampers would come up and bang on the door, or Oreo would just start barking because he's stupid. And, oh, Oh my goodness. Like, you know, it was just not a good time for me last night. So I'm running on like maybe in two hours tops of sleep. Maybe that. Why oh, fuck. So tired. Why didn't you let me sleep last night, Oreo? No, down. You're not being rewarded. Why didn't you let me sleep? What's the matter with yourself? Like really, what's the matter with yourself? Why couldn't you let me sleep? Bad dog. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Oh, did you tell me to go freak myself? Oh, I see how it is. You don't li need to listen to me. I'm not his real daddy, eh? Frig sakes. Guess what, Oreo? Hey, Oreo, guess what? You're friggin' adopted, bud. You're adopted. How does that make you feel? So it's like 2.30 here. My breakfast is done. I'm gonna eat it. Day four, people. One more to go and I'm on friggin' vacation and I can't hardly wait. My tits are numb. Anyway, we got a bang of lunch together and then uh, head off to work. So I'm gonna quickly do that now and then uh, we'll give her. All right, people, lunch is made. I'm in the car. So uh, let's pitter patter, have at her and get off to work. crap no got a good angle on it but look at this guy go what is that a genie yeah genie cherry picker adrian was talking about that on vaped in the head wondering what the hell it was I told him it was a cherry picker don't know where they're picking cherries but whatever but anyway what a freaking drive to work yeah i get cut off what not once but twice uh freaking lady runs the stop sign somebody fell asleep at the freaking stoplight on the highway like oh my goodness what happened that's ridiculous dude Oh, and I got it all on tape, and if I was commenting on comments, like if I was commenting on that, talking while driving, you guys would have laughed, because I, I dropped every friggin' swear in the book. I just rolled them all out of my face. 
couldn't believe how stupid people were being. My goodness. There's no reason for this. But anyway, I'm at work. I, was, I also left late. I left at 35, not 30. It's 10 2, so I got here plenty of time to spare. But my goodness, people are driving like idiots today, boys. Thank God after today I won't need to go on the road that much. Well, after tomorrow. Frig sakes. It's going to be glorious. Can't wait to have time off. Anyway, I got to get inside and get to work, so uh, the jaundice is doing pretty good today. You know, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. A little bit of bruising here, but that's what happens when you get head and shoulders in your eye. Stupid head and shoulders. But anyway, people, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that, and we'll talk to you guys later. So until then, peace the freak out. Alrighty, well, it's lunchtime here on Vlogging Life. And uh, we got these guys here totally cleaning the, the driveway. Probably wasn't smart for my coworker to come back and park his car beside mine, because these guys are probably going to want to do this area right here, and we're there, so kind of fucked, but it's raining right now, I'm getting in my car. Oh, hey there, people. It's about 8.36 now, and I was just chatting with Bloke on the phone. We're chatting about stuff and junk, and he wanted to tell me that he's got a new ju his juice line. Maybe you saw it on Pug's video. Apparently, he gave some to Buddy Van Doodle because Pug don't vape no more. I vape. Look, you can tell, right? You can totally tell I vape. And um, I thought that was Bloke calling back. I was trying to call him back. For some reason, the line just fucking dropped. And I call him back, and I get his voicemail, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe he got another call or something. I don't know. But um, he's got his juice line there, Blue Sheep. And apparently it's going to be in a vape store. It's going to be in thevapestore.ca, I believe, is the link. Um, I'll get more on that later on and probably make a vlog about that itself because uh, this vlog's been going on for a while. But yeah, I just chat with Bloke and stuff. He really wants me to come down. I don't know if the shipmobile would make the run. I definitely need an oil change before I did a run like that, that's for sure, because I'm sitting about 23%, give or take. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I could even make the run down or not, but I um, guess only time will tell. And I got a lot of work to do around the house. As you can tell, I got that mower deck to fix. I got that friggin' tree stump to pull. I got lawn some mow, hydro seed delay, uh, trans am I want to get operational. Uh, more shit than I can shake a stick at, that's for sure. But, I don't know, well, we'll see, I guess we'll see. But there's not really much going on this lunch. Uh, we came in today, it was short staff. They had one guy running the whole help desk all friggin' day. So we played clean up from about 4 till 5.30, and then we were all caught up and ready to rock. But my goodness, it was brutal. But anyway, I'm going to let it go from here, people, and we'll talk more later on. All right, peace out. Well, it's 10.45 break time, and I realized it's super bright out here when I came out. And Adrian was wondering on his vape in the head what the heck this thing was. That's what he was talking about, was this thing. And he was like, that looks cool. I want to take it for a drive. Well, the reason why that's here is because North Bay's been switching over to LED lights, right? We got them over there in the street lights. You know? Holy shaky, the camera guy. It's a little chilly out tonight, people. Well, now they went ahead and put all LEDs in in our parking lot. And look at how friggin' bright it is out here. Like my goodness. LED lighting, man. Magnificent. I hate to say it, but this winter, this parking lot's gonna glow. <sighs> I hope winter never comes around again, but it will. So my coworker's all anxious to go home, right? Because uh, he got accepted into the beta for World of Warships. You probably heard of a game called World of Tanks. Well, they have World of Planes. And now World of Warships, which is basically like battleships and destroyers and aircraft carriers and you're on the open water and you fight. You just fight. And he got accepted into the open beta so he's all excited now for the shift to end in like an hour and 15 minutes. So that he can go home and play the living shit out of that game. I'm a little jealous because apparently all he had to do is to get in was spend 10 bucks, buy a premium boat, and you're in. And I was like, man, I really wanted to try that game, but the offer's out now, so frig it. Oh, well, I got enough video games to keep me busy. I got my wrestling game. I got Grand Theft Auto, PlayStation Network, whatever, fix their shit. Yeah, we didn't get to play last night. Completely forgot to mention that last night we went to go play, and Adrian was able to get in. Uh, Jetwash was saying the servers were acting kind of buggy. I couldn't get online to save my soul. I tried rebooting my router. I, I didn't think it was the router because the internet was working fine, and it worked fine afterwards because I uploaded 78 videos of Skaven Games. So I was like, well, what the hell could be going on? I'd log into the Grand Theft Auto and Jetwash would send me an invite 
So I go to go into it, I click on the message, go to his message, click on join, and it would just bring me back in the single player as Trevor. And I'm like, no, that's not right. And I said, well, let me see if I can join on crew. So I click start, you know, press the start button on the stupid joystick, go over to the online menu, click on it, and the little pop-up appears. You must be signed into the PlayStation Network. And I'm like, uh, press the, the home button, the little Sony button, check, totally signed in. For some reason, the game didn't recognize it. And there was some maintenance going on yesterday on the PSN. That's probably what caused the problem. So I didn't get to play video games last night, so I just told him, I said, ah, frigate, but I'm just gonna fire all my video game videos up to the Skaven games and uh, be done with that, and then I'll be good for a couple more months, and then I can worry about making more content at a later date when PlayStation gets their shit together. I can't believe how bright it is in the car right now with those LED lights. Those things are magnificent. Wow. But yeah, that's something North Bay is doing, is they're getting rid of all the old, I don't want to say incandescent bulbs, because they're not really incandescents, but uh, they're getting rid of all that old style shit and replacing it with all with LED, and um, it's really friggin' bright. I really do like it. I wish they would do all the street lights like this because it really lights up the roads at night, you know? And some people are stupid. They don't wear reflective clothing. They'll walk around at night wearing black jeans and black t-shirts and wonder why they get ran over. Just saying. Anyway, I better head back inside and carry on my shift. I just came out for a dart. An e-dart. Don't get yourself your minds thinking I'm back on the sagrets. E-dart. And uh, I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with my shit. All right, people, it's friggin' midnight. Time to head home. These guys are gonna be busy all night. There's a guy running around here with a little handheld job. You check this shit out. Look at this. Here, let me let me lower my windows so and get a better shot. Look at that thing. Little gas-powered street sweeper. That's fucking decent. Anyway, let's get out of here and go home. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do chatting with bloke and he really wants me to come down to visit and stuff and it's like I, I want to go down I'm like don't get me wrong I, I like to go down and visit I always have a good time when I go to London it's just will the shipmobile make it like renting a car is too expensive and well it's, it's not too bad if I get a car from certain like certain places in town for the four days like if I go down on the 22nd let's say and come back on the 25th, which is the Monday, go down just for the weekend, and I were to rent a car, it would cost me about 150 bucks. But, like, the car I'm renting, it's one of those, like, Ford Fiestas or Mazda MX-2s or, or Mazda Speed 2 or whatever the hell they call that little little lunchbox Mazda, eh? Like, it's nothing really to write home about. Not, not something awesome. So, you know, I'm tempted to bring this car into a ball. I want to get the recall work done. And maybe while it's in there, just have the mechanic poke and prod around and take a look and see what else is wrong with it. But not do the work. Like, I don't mind paying for an inspection, but don't fucking spin wrenches. Just replace the other shit and fucking walk away. But I, I honestly think this car would be fine. It would make it there and back, no problem. Like, it doesn't give me any trouble, except for it likes to burn a lot of gas and there's a bit of a squeal at a high mileage. But it goes away after a while, so that's probably a good thing, maybe. I don't know. Now, I'm going to get it checked out. I want to get the recall work done on her and then uh, go from there. And if they say, well, we can't see anything wrong, your suspension's fucked, well, who cares about suspension? But if he comes back and says, well, the bearings are kind of shot, then I'll get uh, my backyard mechanic guy to do the work for me because, you know, he doesn't charge $120 an hour. Yeah, they got to do the shifter linkage. Um, this car doesn't have the key problem because it's not running that same system as the uh, other GMs. This car doesn't have the ignition switch problem. Uh, it, I need to get that steering rack replaced or the steering motor replaced. Can't remember what else. So being on the recalls. I don't know, there's other shit they gotta look at. And on the highway, it's not too bad. Like, I can usually get the blokes in back on 120 bucks. 60 bucks there, 60 bucks back. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, never mind. But still, it's it's it gets about 9.5 liters per hundred on the highway. In town, she sucks. Like right now, it's getting 14.5, but it is also five degrees Celsius out right now, so. That's not exactly uh, super warm, awesome, exciting weather. But there was also my, like I've been saying all week, my battle plan to pay off my debt, keep spending low, you know, buy stuff for my lunch rather than going to the store and buying my lunch. Shit like that that I want to do. And going down to London for a visit, yeah, it'll be a great way to de-stress and all that, but it's going to cost money and it's going to like kind of break into my plans of getting debt free. And then of course there's the problem of the dog. The fucking dog, eh? 
Always got to find a place for the dog. Never wanted a dog the whole time I freaking bought a house. Never wanted one. Now I got one. It's a cute little fucker, yes I know, but the whole reason why I never wanted children is the same reason why I never wanted dogs. Because if you want to just spur of the moment, hey, let's go to Sudbury. Well, how long are we going to be there? Because the dog has to be let out at least eight hours. You can't be left alone longer than eight hours. You know, ten hours is really, really pushing it. Like, you're probably going to get a piddle in the corner or something. But, like, um, but that's the thing. Like, I, I, you always got to worry about the dog. What's the dog going to do? What are you going to do with the dog? And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't fucking have time for that shit. Like, if any one of my friends were to contact me and say, oh, I love Oreo, I would totally take him, I'd probably be like, okay. Like, go ahead. Because, yeah. This is why whenever one of my friends says, oh, we want to get a dog, and I'm like, okay, well, think about your current lifestyle. Now add a dog into that mix, and now realize that you want to go to Toronto on a weekend. Oh, you can't, because you have a dog, and you got to figure out what to do with the dog. Oh, you can kennel the dog. Yeah, well, that's an option, too. One of these days, I'm probably going to have to rehome them anyway because I just can't. And a lot of you are probably all pissed off about it. And it's like, you know what? This is the reason why. And it's pretty bad. This is the reason why I don't want to rehome them is because I don't need you guys lashing out on me. Why the fuck should I give a shit what you guys? I don't hang out with you. You don't pay my bills. You don't fucking run my life. Why should I care what you guys say? If I want to rehome my dog, I'm going to rehome my fucking dog. If you guys don't like it, then you can just just gonna unsub or start leaving hateful comments or some fucking nonsense and uh, life goes on you know whatever that's something that I finally realized is I gotta quit doing things because people on YouTube expect it I gotta start doing things because it's what I need to fucking do and this is something a lot of youtubers don't realize is that they gotta just do stuff that they need to do and not worry about the audience backlash because fuck it, you know, like, let the audience backlash. It's the way she goes, so like, you know, Oreo in an apartment, wouldn't work. He, he, last night, I didn't sleep at all because that little fucking arsehole kept going off, barking at, like, something would move outside, like a raccoon hit, hit my garbage can, Oreo fucking starts barking. Neighbor got home from work late last night, Oreo starts fucking barking. Just barking up a storm, wouldn't shut the hell up. So it's like, yeah, apartment dog, not gonna happen. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna have an apartment dog. Unfortunately, the way she's gonna go. And a lot of people out there have a problem with it. Well, fuck, you can go ahead and leave all the nasty comments you want. Whatever. They don't bother me anymore. I don't I don't really care what people have to say that I've never met before in my life. You know? I really don't care. Anyway, I'm almost home. Talk to you in a bit. You know, like back in the day of her and I being together, she never wanted to hang around with my YouTube friends. So the dog wasn't really that much of a problem because when I would head down at the time, it was David's farm. When I would head down to the farm, she didn't want to head down there, so she'd just stay home. You know, hang out with the dog for the weekend until I got back. Hey, go poop. You're not doing what you did last night. You go poop. Go poop. Friggin' dog, he's such a prima donna. He won't go shit in the yard. Oh, it's raining outside. My precious fur is gonna get wet. I'm such a little princess peckerhead dog. You know, back then it wasn't that big of a deal because she would just stay home with the dog. I could go, come back, and then go from there. But, you know, asking my parents to watch over him. They watch over him for like four days and they've had enough because he's just a demanding little fuck face. So, it's a pain in the cock. It's like... And this is why when you guys are like, oh, Adam, you need to have kids, you need to have kids. No, I fucking really don't need to have kids. I honestly really do not need to have kids, you know. I got the next best thing. I got a niece. That's perfect, you know. I don't know. It's just, yup. You know, my house probably wouldn't be covered in so much fur and shit. And literally shit, because last night I let him out at midnight when I got home. And then I let him out at 2 in the morning. And then I let him out at 4 when he started barking his tits off. And all those times he didn't shit. And then I woke up today at around 11, came downstairs, and there's like four huge long turds on the carpet. He shit the carpet again. He started doing that again now. Like, I'm not going to have these animals wrecking my shit. Like, my couch reeks like fucking cat piss. It's the whole reason why we're not doing any live shows. Because I've tried every pet store solution, online solution, to clean the piss out. And I can't. The only solution is, is to grab the couch, put it at the end of the road, and hope the garbage truck takes it and buy another couch. Well, I'm not about to do that as long as she's here. Because she'll just go piss on the new couch. So it's like, fuck, what's really going on with these asshole animals? Like, do they want to both become outside assholes? Live outside in a doghouse and a cat house for the rest of their lives? Like, it's that's what's stressing me out. 
see all these pictures on Facebook that's like, oh, the best, de the best de-stressor ever, a puppy dog. Well, not when they're shitting all over your shit and fucking chewing up all your stuff and wrecking your stuff. And there I go ranting again. So I'm going to shut this down. And tomorrow is day five. Thank fuck. Thursday we're probably going romping. It looks pretty good out there. It's going to be nice and sunny and shit. Friday is calling for rain. Saturday and Sunday is going to be sunny as shit. Monday is calling for rain. And apparently Cat Piss bought himself a mini bike. I think it's a doodle bug. And if it is, well, good times. If you don't know what a doodle bug is, go look them up. Makes the mini bikes look huge. I think they have plastic wheels on them too. So that should be a fun ride back on those trails. You thought I mean age we're going ow, 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 over the bumps? Well... Cat Piss tries to ride that thing with us. He's going to be going out, out, out a lot harder. But anyway, people, we'll see you tomorrow. We made it. We made it. We totally made it. It's currently fake Friday, Wednesday, last shift ever for 18 days. And then, yeah, so I slept in big times. It's 2.30. I set my alarm for 2.30 because I was like, you know what? I don't see any point in getting out of bed early today, so we're not going to do that. Oh yeah, breakfast of champions, toast and eggs again. Going to go drop this in my face. Alrighty, people. It's, well, not really time to leave, but it's getting pretty damn close to that time. So we're going to pitter-patter and have at her and head off to work a little earlier. I want to pull through Horton's and grab myself, I should grab some cash for that. I'm just going to grab myself a coffee at the Horton's instead of paying with debit. I got a bunch of change on my desk, so, you know, why not use it? Why not use it for good instead of evil? Because good is dumb. Friggin' sucks that Horton's up the price of coffee to two dollars and ten cents instead of just two bucks. So much easier just leaving a bunch of toonies in the car and then going to get coffee when I need it, you know? Oh, what happened? Alrighty, we're gonna try some picture in picture on this final day before vacation. Yeah, boy! Well, as long as these glasses hold out. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I have no idea what the condition on these uh, camera glasses, uh, the pivot heads. I have no idea what condition the battery's in on these things, so if the video from these do cut out, which they might, um, well, we got the main camera recording, so we're not too bad off, eh? So, yeah, I was thinking about it last night about going down to blokes, and I honestly don't really think it's gonna be feasible like not with the plans I got for paying off my shit but I do have holidays in August so maybe then I could go down and visit them but as far as going down anytime soon yeah that's probably just not gonna happen probably just not gonna happen oh well it is what it is he's probably not gonna be too happy about it but fuck what can I do like like he told me before when I mentioned moving down there, he's like, well, you know, it won't be all fun and games. Like, we got to work and stuff, and we got things to do. Well, I told him that. Like, I understand. It won't be all fun and games. It's just it's nicer on the weekends because then we can hang out, and I don't have to drive five hours to do so. But, yeah. 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 And where's Bobby's at? It's going to be in town tomorrow. So we're going to go for coffee with Bobby. 210, please. 210. Yeah, apparently, uh, where's Bobby? Where is Bobby, or just Bobby, or whatever the frig he wants to go by nowadays? He's coming up north to go fishing, eh? And he's coming through North Bay tomorrow. So I told him, I said, well, fuck, throw me a text. And, um, we'll go to, like, Norton's and have a coffee or something, or just fucking meet up or whatever. Before he heads up north to, uh, Let's go fishing. She came up at a good time though, because they just opened the lakes not too long. Am I just gonna run every fucking amber on my way to work? Like, is that, what, is that what's gonna happen this time around? My goodness. I'm gonna go to prison if I keep this shit up. But, um, yeah, like he's coming up here to go fishing, and we just put uh, the boat on the lake. The boys call it the Titanic because. Uh, they sunk one last year and they put it on and hit it underground. Well, they didn't sink it, but they damaged the hull and it was taken on water. They managed to get it back to the beach before it went down. But uh, they were driving it on the lake during the thaw and sure enough, hit an iceberg. By an iceberg, I just mean a chunk of ice and it ripped through the fiberglass hull like like nothing, like a hot, hot knife through butter. Just wrecked the hull. 
They are taking on water. The guy in the front was bailing while the guy in the back was trying to do his best to keep the trim down so that he can keep the boat's nose up so that not too much water got in. And they managed to get her back to the beach, but uh, that's why now what they do is they don't go out unless the lake is pretty damn clear. Because that could have ended badly, probably. So he came up just in the nick of time, just at the beginning of the season. Pretty sure he's going fishing. I don't really know Bobby to be much of a hunter, but you never know with him. Like, he might be. I know the kid, but I don't know the kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably. But he's going to be up here tomorrow, so that's all right. I think he's coming up with some buddies. They're going fishing up north, so sweet. Like, he wants me to go down there too, but it's like, Frig, if I can't do it, I can't do it. That's end of story. Oh, fuck, I was supposed to call that company back today. Son of a bitch. Oh, I just, I can't think. Man, it's hard to believe that it's 17 degrees. Uh, last night, I froze my tits off sleeping. It dropped down to 3 degrees last night, and I currently have my house, so my furnace set to uh, 65 because there's no reason for it to come on. Like at night, if it gets cool in the house, awesome. You know, it's great for sleeping. During the day, if it's hot in the house, I don't care, I'm not there. Today's gonna be one of those, oh fuck, 336. Today's gonna be one of those days where I end up slagging a lot, I bet. I bet you it's one of those days. Still growing strong with the son of a bitchers for battery life, so. As long as people aren't, oh man, people, why do they fall asleep at the fucking wheel at this turn? Like, light turns green, punch it. People sit there and stare at it and wait to see what oncoming traffic's gonna do. Don't do that, just go. Oh, I hope tomorrow's like this. You know, this is friggin' nice weather right now. Like, we could totally romp the ball bag off the bikes. I need to get some Loctite or something for my bike though because I keep losing the bolts that hold the torque converter on, eh? And uh, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing. I'd like to know when that nut fell or that bolt fell off. Like, was it right away or was it later on or what happened? Because that's fucked. And I think the whole reason why it broke in the backyard was uh, basically the clutch wasn't attached and the impact from the fall when it fell over on its own, when it got away from me, the impact alone caused it to just shit the bed. Like it knocked the clutch over enough that the chain kind of went like, like, a, like, like a jank, you know? And then once it janked, it just, as soon as the master clip got near the jankiness, it just spit out its pin and blew itself apart. Well, and she's all back together. That bike I'd like to put up against Adrian's. I know Adrian's is still faster. Like, fuck, he's doing 46 kilometers an hour. Black bike does tops 35. Like, if you're proper weight in the manual, it says those bikes can do 138, or sorry, frig, I'm stupid. 38 kilometers an hour. Those bikes can do that, no problem as long as you weigh less than 175 pounds. Of course, Adrian, I think Adrian said he's 235, and I am 258 now. So we're way overweight for those bikes. So that's why we're not getting proper speeds and shit, but I'd love to put a torque converter onto mine. At the place where I got the shitty colas there, those bacon flavored ones and the ranch flavored ones, all those different flavored ones, they sell uh, torque converters there. They're Chinese knockoffs, mind you, but anyway, he's got them for about a bill 50 a piece, 150 bucks. And I'd love to get one of those and put it on either black or red bike and really, uh, really romp the shit out of it. I think with that, with that upgrade, because I've seen people do it to the stock bike and all of a sudden now the stock bike's able to do like 60 kilometers an hour just with a torque converter modification. And like Pug One has that on, on the Dizzy bike, the torque converter modification. And it makes the bike a whole different ball game because now you have all your low end torque and then at high velocity, or at top end, you have a tons, tons and tons and tons of top end. So the bike just goes forever, right? Only problem is, is making sure that he has the belts readily available because apparently you go through belts like a son of a bitch. But then again, we don't ride them all the time, so it might be a different scenario for us. I know Adrian wants to do that to his too. He wants to get a torque converter for his, and then he wants to get the stage one kit from OMB Warehouse. And if he does that, his bike is gonna be able to travel highway speeds. Like, that thing is gonna be ridiculous. Like, I don't wanna put a whole bunch of money into it, 
But I would like the torque converter because it'd be better going up hills. You know, the torque converter can adjust itself to me climbing the hill and it'd be fine. I really don't want to do the governor delete because that's very dangerous. You know, you're risking prematurely killing the engine. You're risking the engine just coming apart on you. And last time I checked, getting a, a push rod through the ball sack doesn't sound very pleasing, you know? Some people probably like that kind, but not me. I'm not a big fan of, you know, having a shard of metal go right through my friggin' nads. Kind of don't need that. But there's other ways to make the, uh, make the bike quick. What the fuck? Oh, it's a Corvette. So what the fuck is that thing? I laughed at somebody saying you should get yourself a Corvette. Why would I buy the shittiest friggin' luxury car on the market? I friggin' hate Corvettes. I never liked Corvettes. Especially back in the day of the uh, 89 Turbo Trans Am when they had the C, was it the C5 Corvette, I think it was? The one with the, uh, L, uh, was a, uh, the LT1 engine into it. Or no, that one had the tune port injected, my bad. And the Turbo, Turbo Trans Am would just kill that thing, and it was like half the price. And GM purposely marketed it at, holy fuck, just run the old codger over there, bud. Fuck sakes. You guys saw that. Tim to the back step and the what the fuck stance. Yeah, you saw that, but. Yeah, they uh, labeled the, the engine as, on the Turbo Trans Am as 250 horse and the Corvette has 255 horse. When in reality, people would dyno these things, like people to date dynoed them, and some people did them stock, and they're putting close to like three, uh, 295. So it's like, no, GM, you're dumb. That means there's like 340 to the freaking flywheel. Like, this engine's a lot quicker than you guys are saying. That's why out of the box, the Turbo Trans Am, like you go to the store, you bought one back then, you went to the track and you're running 12 seconds right out of the box. It was a fast friggin' beast. They are saying the Grand National was in second place with 13.2 in the quarter mile. That's pretty awesome for a car that looks like a, a, a bathtub, eh? Not too bad. Oh, I shouldn't say that about the Grand National. I love those cars too. We only have like two of them in town and their garage kept all the all the time except for car shows. Buddy never drives them. Um, it's a shame because they're really nice cars. They're really nice cars. But anyway people, it's friggin time for me to head inside and bang out this final shift and then the vacation is here. This is gonna be glorious. All right guys, talk to you in a bit. Holy shit people, it's friggin midnight. Scores! You know what that means? Day five is complete and I'm officially on holidays. Let's go home and let's stoop it out for shit. Alrighty, well, I just let stupid out for shit. Yeah, he's out there, I think. Somewhere out there, anyway. What are you doing, stupid kitten? Just waiting for him to come back inside, because now I got a shit. I'm telling you, man, since I started switching up my food and eating, like, you know, sandwiches and vegetables and stuff like that for lunch, instead of going to the store and getting, like, you know, a sub and a bag of chips and chocolate bars, I've been pooping like a rabbit. Yeah, instead of one long turd, it's like 1,500 little pellets. Maybe that's why Brabbit's poop in pellet form. It's because all they eat is cabbage. Oh, thank God that's over. My goodness. So there you go. A five day vlog, eh? Wow. Holy shit. Where did this come from? It's the old Nintendo wireless freedom pad. Oh my goodness. This is freaking hilarious. It's infrared, eh? It's not like 2.4 gigahertz. This is old school, like 1990s old school. Wow. Son of a bitch. I think I just scared the fuck out of the cat. Get attacked by airsoft rifles. I guarantee this one doesn't work anymore. Or for that matter, shoot straight. I'm hearing movement. I'm not even going to try it. Happy to be on vacation. Start cleaning up this fucking dump of a house. That's the bad. I scared the fuck out of the cat. <laughs> but anyway, people, I'm going to end the video here. Next video, so I don't have to go to work. So hopefully they're more entertaining. Sorry for making a super long one, but I figured you guys were due for a movie. It's been a while since 1500. A little while. But anyway, I'm going to head upstairs. 
edit all this up. I got five days of vlogs to bang together. That's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm shutting her down here. So big time thanks for watching my movie because it actually is the length of a movie according to the Canadian television broadcasting standards. So thanks for watching my movie. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. You got a lot out of this one. You got me ranting, me raving, me going nuts. Uh, a lot of going to work, a lot of nonsense at work, a lot of nonsense here. It is what it is. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.